Hello, everyone. This is Barb with Mystic Door Tarot, and thank you so much for joining me today. This is your daily tarot reading for Friday, March 31st, 2023. This is the last day for the Owl Tarot card deck, and then we'll be moving on to something new for the month of April. So today, we have the Major Arcana card, the Tower. Well, another repeat card in energy for the month of March, and it is closing up this month. With the energy of the Tower card, which many view as a negative energy coming in, not always the case. It is specifically in regards to drastic change taking place, yes. And that could certainly could be coming in in a very positive way. But it is an energy that's coming in today, shaking you up, making you aware of something that you need to be taking a look at, taking care of, to focus on, trying to put you on the right path. And since this is the last day of March, this is getting you lined up for the beautiful month of April. So the Tower card can just be an energy of shaking things up, kind of a wake-up call, and there could be something that is put in front of you today in some manner, maybe through social media or you see something as you're driving or walking, observing people. So some kind of message or information, a sign, a signal could be coming through today. And you'll know this is the energy of the Tower card alerting you to something significant, something that you need to pay attention to. So this could certainly be in regards to your health and well-being. This could be in regards to possibly addressing something like with your car, your home, something that you need to repair or take care of. This certainly could be in regards to a relationship that maybe you're moving on from. Maybe an existing relationship. If you're not happy, time to move on. This could also be in regards to your job, your career, and maybe seeing the handwriting on the wall that this job is not sustainable for how the world is moving so quickly into the future. So certainly the Tower Card energy is alerting us to kind of move on from something or to take care of something, to notice something. And looking at our very last Owl Card here, we see the lightning hitting the nest. And lightning doesn't strike a tree very often in the same spot. But when it does, it can cause destruction. So sooner or later, the owls are going to have to move to different trees. And this is about that they received signs guiding them to move to a new home and they chose to ignore it. So it's really not a surprise when disaster strikes and burns their home down. So this is certainly listening to your intuition and take care of whatever might be some kind of sign or red flag or alert. Again, this could be in regards to your health, it could be repairs, moving on from a job, moving on from a relationship. As the Tower card is indicating in order to move forward with a new life, some parts of the old life must come down first. Plenty of resources nearby, plenty of people could help you rebuild. Whatever this is in regards to, it certainly had to happen in order for you to live the life that you have been asking for. So instead of viewing this in a negative sense, the tower, see this as a good sign from the universe that you are now on the right track and your new nest will be stronger and better than ever. Now the tower card is ruled by the planet Mars. It is a planet of physical energy, of taking action, being assertive. It's in regards to your willpower and sometimes your temper. It is associated with your first chakra, so certainly what you've put into place, what you've built upon. And if you notice on the card, only the top part of the tree is what needs to be demolished. The bottom part, the foundation, your chakra, your root, is still in place. And this also concerns your sixth chakra, that's your third eye chakra, and that's your perception on things. That is certainly listening to your gut, your intuition. And nine times out of ten, if you don't pay attention to that, if you don't listen to your intuition, you'll end up saying something like, I knew I should have done that or went in that way or did that or ended um, going in the opposite direction. You know you should have listened to your intuition. 
The numerology with the tower card is number 16, which reduces down to seven. Sevens kind of represent forces that you have to deal with that are beyond your control. It certainly is about looking within, looking at the bigger meaning of the situation at hand, trusting your instincts, and then making a decision and moving forward. And we did have the strength card yesterday about your inner resources, your inner strength. And certainly with the seven energy, it is about calling upon your deepest inner resources in order to overcome challenges that are affiliated with the seven numerology. Could be something popping up today that you need to take care of. Now, the crystals that are specifically associated with the tower card, I'll just run through them. Obsidian, chrysocolla, garnet, ruby, magnetite, hematite, all excellent crystals with different properties to aid you in overcoming any kind of challenges. So today, the last day of March, we have the tower card energy. And with it being a major arcana card, that in itself is change coming in to launch you in a new direction, getting rid of the old so you can embrace the new energy going into the month of April. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe, help support my channel, love and abundance. Until tomorrow.